My name is Scott Powell. We'd like to talk to you today about electrocoagulation. This patented electrocoagulation unit allows large industrial flows of water to be treated. The system consists basically of three parts. One is you take the power from the electrical grid, convert it from AC to DC. Then you take a pump where you pump the water up through a chamber. As the water passes up through this chamber, it goes between metal plates. And as the electricity goes between those metal plates, it causes a reaction to occur which causes metal ions to convert to metal oxides, causes fat soils and grease to become separable from water. This can be demonstrated by using acrylic paint in water. And we've got an 11 micron filter, and you'll see that as that water passes through the filter, the paint will go through the filter as well. So the particle is smaller than 11 micron. We'll use this uh, uh, paint, we'll pump it up through the electrocoagulation chamber. Now these metal blades could actually be a wide variety of material. Iron is most common, aluminum, copper, titanium, stainless steel, any material that will conduct electricity can be used as the electrocoagulation blade. As the material passes up through those blades, the electron will cause the material to coagulate and separate from the water. You will notice as it comes out that it is mixed at the bottom and then it will separate over time which allows it to be clarified or filtered or settled out in ponds depending upon your industry need. For example, chrome 6 can be converted to chrome oxide directly in one pass through an electrocoagulation unit. It does not need to have uh, metabisulfide pH raised and lowered a couple of times. It will do it in the single operating pass. It will also cause fats, like from a, a rendering plant or oils. It will cause that emulsion to break so you can get a low uh, oil content for discharge or for recovery. Another thing it can do is take suspended solids out of water. Colloidal clays, those fine clays that will never separate in a mining operation. It will cause them to clump and to settle. This paint is an excellent representation or comparison for that. It will cause bacteria to explode and separate from the water. Now we will take and filter the water and see if the paint particles have been coagulated larger than 11 microns. As you can see, that water is perfectly clear that the electrocoagulation has clumped those particles and allowed that water to be um, fit for reuse. Many industries clean up their water using electrocoagulation to the point where they can reuse it. By cleaning it up to that point, you eliminate the problems with regulation and regulators checking your discharge because if you have no discharge you have no discharge concern. We appreciate you taking time to view this video. Please go to our website at powwaterrecovery.com for additional information. Thank you very much. Have a great day.